Hey everyone, welcome back to our networking series. Today, we're diving into the amazing world of networking devices. We'll break down what switches, routers, firewalls, and access points actually do. And by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how these devices keep your network running like a well-oiled machine. Whether you're managing a home network or preparing for the next step in your IT journey, this is where it all begins. Let's kick things off with one of the most fundamental devices, switches. Now I know what you're thinking. No, we're not talking about light switches. A network switch is the backbone of any local network, acting like a post office. Imagine you're a network full of letters and every device in the network is a house waiting to receive its mail. The switch's job is to take each letter or packet of data and send it to the right destination. But here's the cool part. Switches do this for thousands of packets per second and they never get it wrong. No wrong addresses, no lost packages. They work at the data link level of the OSI model, meaning that they're in charge of directing data at a very fundamental level. Every device connected to a switch, whether it's a computer, printer, a server, gets exactly the information it's supposed to without stepping on toes of other devices. So next time you print something wirelessly, thank your switch for making it happen smoothly. Switches also come in different flavors, managed and unmanaged. Managed switches give network admins more control, like setting up virtual LANs or VLANs or monitoring traffic. On the other hand, unmanaged switches are plug and play. Just connect the devices and they'll all talk to each other automatically. Both types are very important, depending on the size and the complexity of your network. Now let's switch gears and talk about routers. These devices take your data to the next level, quite literally. While switches handle traffic within a single network, routers, like GPS for your data, guiding it between networks. Think of it this way. A switch is great for managing your home network, but the router is what lets your home network talk to the internet or other networks beyond your house. Routers decide the best path for your data to travel. For instance, when you request a website, your router figures out the quickest and most efficient way for that request to travel to the server hosting that site. It's like planning a road trip. Do you take the scenic route or the highway? Routers make sure your data takes the highway, getting from point A to point B as quickly as possible. Routers operate at the network layer of the OSI model. This layer is responsible for addressing, forwarding, and routing packets between networks. Every time you stream a movie or send an email, your router is busy calculating the best route for your data to reach its destination. And with modern routers, we can even prioritize different types of traffic. So your Netflix binge won't slow down your important video call. Pretty neat, right? Routers also come with cool features like NAT or network address translation, which allows multiple devices on your home network to share a single public IP address. This is why you can have multiple devices online at the same time, all appearing as one to the outside world. All right, next up is firewalls, and they are your first line of defense in the wild world of the internet. Firewalls are like the bouncer at an entrance of an exclusive club. They decide who gets in and who stays out. But instead of letting in VIPs and keeping out the riffraff, firewalls monitor network traffic and decide what's allowed to enter or leave your network. Firewalls can be hardware devices, like a physical box sitting between your network and the internet, or software-based running on your computer or network server. Their job is to filter traffic based on a set of rules that you can configure. For example, you might block traffic from certain websites or IP addresses, or allow only specific types of data to pass through, like web browsing, but not file sharing. Firewalls work at multiple layers of the OSI model, depending on how advanced they are. Basically, firewalls inspect data at the network and transport layers, but more advanced firewalls called next generation firewalls can examine data all the way up to the application layer. This means they can look into the content of data packets to block specific websites or even malware. And here's something interesting. Firewalls don't just block threats from the outside. They also monitor outgoing traffic to make sure none of your devices are sending out data they shouldn't be. Like if one of your devices gets infected with malware, the firewall can stop the infected device 
from spreading its malware to other computers. And now we come to access points. These little devices give you the wireless freedom that you love. Think of an access point as the gateway that connects your wireless devices, like phones, tablets, laptops, to your wired network. Without access points, your Wi-Fi devices wouldn't be able to communicate with the rest of your network. Access points are especially important in larger environments like offices, schools, or even smart homes, where you need strong, consistent Wi-Fi coverage. If you've ever walked around your house while streaming music without dropping the signal, thank your access point. It makes sure you stay connected even when you're on the move. But access points do more than just extend Wi-Fi. They can also manage how much bandwidth each device gets, prevent unauthorized access, and even support guest networks. They play a huge role in ensuring your Wi-Fi remains fast and secure. All right, let's take a step back and picture your home network as a party. The switch is the party planner, making sure everyone gets their drinks and foods on time. The router is like your Uber driver, helping guests find the quickest route to the party. And the firewall, well, that's the bouncer at the front door, making sure no party crashers get in. And the access point, well, that's your friendly bartender, making sure your Wi-Fi connection is flowing smoothly for everyone to enjoy. Okay, let's recap. Switches keep the data flowing within your network. Routers connect your network to the wider internet. Firewalls protect your network from threats and access points keep your wireless devices connected. These devices are the unsung heroes of modern networking, working together to ensure everything runs smoothly. In the next video, we're gonna dive deeper into the OSI model, the framework that helps explain how all these devices communicate with each other. Don't worry, I'll keep it simple and easy to understand. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss the rest of the series. Really appreciate your support, guys. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.